This is the Suncut Wataouga folder. I do not normally cover folders, but I bought this earlier and I figured that I would share with you my experience with this folder. Uh, it is a D2 steel blade, I believe, at least. Uh, yes, it is a D2, D2 steel blade. It is coated in black and with wooden handles. I saw someone sell this. I thought, wow, that looks really nice. And I wanted it because I figured maybe getting one folder was worth it. And it ended up being much more inexpensive than I thought. This only costed about $50. Um, unfortunately, this blade shape, the Watauga, Watauga, I don't know, is discontinued, but there are still others. There are several other folders just like this one, but with a different blade. Uh, so yeah, the, what do I gotta say about this? It is on bearings. It has a push lock. It can do an open on the spine here. Uh, there's also uh, a little ridge here and here. So if you want to flick it with your middle finger like that or whatever, or your thumb, you can do that as well. Um, and the person who sold this to me also gave it a nice sharpen. So it is very sharp. Whoops, sorry. Uh, so everything I could want in a folding knife, right? Uh, I also wanted to fuck around with button locks because the only other folder that I have was the Karambit that is over there. And it has the kind of lock that you push in with your thumb here. Again, I am not a folder person. I am sort of a knife person, but I'm mostly a balisong person. But some people might be curious and I figured, hey, at least this is in the same realm. So what are my thoughts on this? One, I think this is worth the money. It also has a pocket clip. I don't particularly care about pocket clips. It is a tip up pocket clip i think tip up and so if you're holding it here you know uh, the pocket clip is like this um some people care about that i think you can swap which side it is so if you're ambidextrous you can swap it um as for the button lock i'm pretty sure it's only on this one side that you cannot change it so if you are left-handed you would have to use your index finger to close the button lock opposed to your thumb um the biggest issue with this is that it is an inexpensive knife, and I believe someone told me that it uh, Sencut is the budget version of Civivi, which is the even more budget, or which is the less budget version of WE Knives, which I think is a premium Chinese brand. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true, but I believe it. I have no reason not to. And if I got the names wrong, my bad. Um, the biggest issue, though, is that the button lock is not always smooth. Sometimes it's smooth, and I have no issues with that. But the other times, it's just uh, it can like stick a little. Um, it's not consistent. I have put on some lubricant. Um, I put in some uh, carbon honey light, which I don't normally lubricate bearings, but. Um, you know, having some graphene in there could be helpful because it is a dry lubricant. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. It's a little inconsistent, mostly with closing. The action for opening is nice. There is a very high choil here. You know, you can hold it here. Uh, there's some jimping here, so you can press down on this. And I actually like this blade shape because it's really convenient for opening letters. I find that when you're using a Tanto, your tip here is away from the letter. And so like you either turn it backwards or you like get it in like that. Tanto is originally designed for piercing armor. So yeah. Um, but this, well, is, it's maybe a sheep's foot kind of, or a Warncliffe. I don't really know the difference between those two, but I do find that at least with opening letters, this is really nice. With cutting boxes, the tape, this is really nice. This curved down tip um there are probably other blaze shapes that do that conveniently as well um and again you can get a knife just like this um this one specifically is wood but there are i think other maybe of this blade shape uh but there are like drop points i think that are really nice yeah so i'll include um i'll include some of the i'll include a link in the description of this video um, if I like the way this knife looks, I think it's a very much a, here's a, a, a pocket knife. It is utility, but with this wooden look, it looks very professional. Like I think if someone saw that I had this knife on me, I was like, Oh, this, 
And you wouldn't like I and I'm like, oh here and I can take it out and it'd just be like, oh it's it's almost a fashion statement, arguably. I know that Blade HQ has talked about it as well. Um but yeah, do be aware that the consistency of the button lock is not always great on mine. I have seen a YouTube video of someone else's where it was just bad out the get-go, which is a little tough. Um, but for like 50 bucks, it's I think it's really nice. It's got I got no major issues, and as someone who only really needs one folder, and I have no real intention of collecting multiple folders, this does more or less everything that I've needed it to do for any letter opening, packages opening, any anything that could pretty much use a knife. And so with my limited folder experience, I like this and I recommend this and it does the job for me. Um, I'm very utilitarian about folders, though I think they are a bit fun to like flick out and close. Um, but it is uh, perfectly legal, at least in most states. I don't know of like the UK because it's over two inches um, about. Um, but yeah, at least for me, it has done everything that I needed. And I'm sure that you could find a more expensive knife. You could find a more intricate lock. You could find something. I have no issues with the lock in terms of also like when you're pressing down um, the... It, I've never had this lock fail. I've never done anything intensive with it. But yeah, I like the Senkut Watauga. I will link in the description uh, this store page, but I might also just link the other ones that are similar to this. Um, so if you like this video, give it a like, give it a comment. In fact, comment anything that you want to tell me about folder knives, because again, I am a Balasong flipper, not a EDC fanatic. I like knives. I am more of a flipper. So if you like this content, let me know. If you think I'm saying stupid fucking shit, let me know legitimately, please. Um, if you like this video, check out the description. Uh, there is a coffee link uh, where you can donate a couple bucks. It would be much appreciated because, I, know, I mean, this is for fun, but I, it does take a lot of time. And if you like your content, support it. So happy day. Day happy. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye.